more and more people want to be able to work at home. Maybe you live in one state, but you want to be able to work in another state. You have a sense of freedom. Work-life balance increases. Sounds great, right? In the government, there's two ways that you can work at home. The first way is 100% remote work. And the second is if you're telework eligible. Most people, they want the 100% remote work, but that's a little challenging. It's a little bit more competitive. So in this video, I'm gonna shift focus and look at telework. Because if you are telework eligible, if your job allows you to do it, that means sometimes you only come into the office one day out of the week, maybe two days out of the week. And the rest of the time, you're at home. You still have that freedom. And while you're teleworking, keep applying to the 100% remote work jobs. As of today, there are 9,000 government jobs that allow teleworking. But what are the top five job series that you can find teleworking in? At number five, we have the 0801 General Engineering Series with 319 open jobs. These jobs are mainly titled as Engineer, General Engineer, Community Developer, something like that. And you'll find them in the Department of Defense and also in the Department of Energy. Now, these jobs also have minimum requirements, such as engineering degrees that's accredited through ABIT, or you have to have certain calculus classes in your college transcript. One thing I want to stress when you're looking for a federal government job is most of them do not require a college degree. And when I say most, I'm talking about 80% of them have no college education requirement. So this is an exception. This job series, this is high in demand. If you go to usajobs.gov, you go to the urgent hire list, you will see engineering. You will see 0801. This could also be a good thing for you because it's more likely they have an incentive to hire you. They might pay relocation expenses. This might be a direct hire type of job, so you do not have to compete with a lot of the other special hiring paths. When I speak with engineers in the federal government, they often tell me that only 30, 35% of their time is focused on actual engineering tasks. And the remainder, the 60 to 70%, is heavily focused in administration. So they are writing a lot of emails, attending meetings, reviewing documents, things like that. Okay, at number four, we have the 0185 Social Work Job Series with 395 open jobs. As you can imagine, a lot of these jobs involve social workers. And to be a social worker, most of the time you need to have a master's degree in social work. And you'll see jobs like coordinators, case managers, veterans outreach, and almost every single one of these jobs, they fall under the Department of Veteran Affairs. There's a few under the Department of Defense and maybe Health and Human Services, but not as many. The good thing about being in the Veteran Affairs is the Veteran Affairs is not shy about using SSR, which is the special salary rate, which means that you could make a lot more money as a 0185 than you could in other agencies. They could end up slapping you with a 10 to 15% increase in your pay. And the social workers I've spoken with, they feel like they're making a significant, meaningful impact towards the veteran community. So they enjoy their life. Okay, at number three, we have the 2210 Information Technology Management Job Series with 445 open jobs. This is another job series that's on the urgent hire list. And this can cover pretty much anything in the IT industry, anything that you would find in the IT sector. Jobs like InfoSec, information security, cybersecurity, application software developer, help desk, or even customer service. None of these positions require a college degree. You do not need to have a bachelor's in computer science to get a job like this. What you need is pretty much what you need in the majority of government jobs. You need 12 months of relevant experience in order to be eligible and to qualify for these type of jobs. There's also a huge push when it comes to cybersecurity and artificial intelligence. Within the government, they're doing pretty much everything they can in order to attract and retain that type of IT talent. We're talking about five-figure bonuses and relocation expenses paid, and they're pretty much pulling out all the stops they can in order to get people to come into the government that have this skill set. If you are interested in working for the federal government, you should attend virtual hiring events where you can meet a human resource specialist or a hiring manager. If you want me to email you every week on the latest virtual hiring events, sign up to the free newsletter down below. Okay, at number two, we have the 0343 Management and Program Analysis Job Series with 498 open jobs. Almost every single federal agency 
needs 0343s. They're hiring 0343s. And you could be doing a wide variety of work. That's why when people ask me, what does a 0343 do? I can spend about an hour, an hour and a half telling you all the possibilities that they could potentially do. But to keep it short, you could end up working in correspondence. You could end up working with special risk projects, privacy issues, paperwork reduction act, any and everything that revolves around administration and using analytical type skills. Once again, this job series, it doesn't require a college degree or any type of specific college education. You just have to show where you have experience analyzing data, evaluating data, using your quantitative analytical skills in a previous job to accomplish previous goals. Now, many people, they don't think of what they've done in the past as analytical. But if you look back and think, in your previous jobs, have you reviewed spreadsheets? Have you pulled out data from spreadsheets and used it to make decisions or to make a presentation? If you have, you might have analytical experience and not even realize it. So this is something that you should consider. Okay, at number one, we have the 0301 Administrative Job Series with 754 open jobs. This job series is exactly what it sounds like. It's jobs revolving around administrative type tasks. This can include operations specialist, executive assistant, administrative specialist. There are even analyst positions in the 0301. So not every job is always coded the right way or there could be a decision within the agency to code it a specific way. If you are targeting the 0343, which we talked about previously, I would recommend to also scoop in the 0301. Include 0301 in your search. You're not going to have to make that many changes to your resume if your resume is targeted towards the 0300 job series. There are people that have specific skills that make sense when they come into the federal government. If you worked in finance, you can you understand that 0500, that's your job series. If you worked in the education field, then you know 1700. But there are other people where it's a little bit more hazy, it's a little gray, I don't know how my experience fits into the government. If this is you, if you're saying this to yourself, start with 0300. And I would even start with 0301, 0303. Start with those two first. So these job series have a lot of teleworking opportunities. But it's not just these. You have to look at all the job announcements because even if it doesn't mention in there that telework is an option, if there's a large component of administration in that job, in that job announcement, there's a high probability that when you speak with your supervisor after the first one to three months and you bring it up in conversation and say, hey, this is something that I want to explore. This is something that interests me. Is it possible for me to sign a teleworking agreement? The chances are you will be able to. This is because agencies want to have a backup plan in case of inclement weather. They want their workers to be able to work at home. If something happens and you cannot come to the office, they want that capability to be active. So you probably will be able to sign a teleworking agreement. The next step for you is to build your filter. Set up your filter, include the location that you're interested in. Not everybody can travel around the world. So if you're in a specific state or around a certain city, you can input your city, your zip code, and you can find government jobs around you that meet the parameters that you set. So I would do that. Get on usajobs.gov, set up your account, make sure you have a strong filter ready to go. If you have more questions about the federal government hiring process, I did a live stream recently. I answered over a dozen questions about usajobs.gov, about different government jobs, about the federal hiring process. If that interests you, then I want you to watch this video next. If you would like to see more videos like this, please click like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.